Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Peggy Carter. I have put off doing this character for a long time because I was a little bit worried that if I were to do her hair and makeup look on myself, it would turn out like my normal vintage look, which obviously you've seen before, but it has been requested so many times. I feel like Agent Carter is one of the most requested beauty beacons of fiction and not everybody watches all of my videos. So today I'm gonna show you how to recreate Peggy Carter's iconic look. So Peggy Carter is a character in the Marvel universe. She is originally from the Captain America story where she features as um, kind of his love interest. She is a military woman in the Second World War. She is part of the scientific unit that kind of develops the serum that makes Captain America a superhero. And then later in her life, she becomes one of the co-founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. So she features in quite a few of the Marvel movies and she has her her own show as well, Agent Carter, in which she is the lead character. So her look is a very classic 40s look, maybe leaning towards 50s a little bit. And I think this is one of the more iconic 40s looks in modern pop culture. So I'm gonna show you how to do her hair and makeup. And let's begin straight away with the makeup itself. So I'm gonna start by applying a foundation primer all over my skin. This is a nice hydrating one, which my skin needs. And then I'm going to go over with a layer of foundation. When that is all blended in, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer on my dark circles. So I'm using a mix of these two colors to find my perfect color match. And when that has dried down a little bit, I'm going to go over with a translucent powder to set everything and mattify my face. Moving on to eyebrows, Agent Carter has nice dark eyebrows, so I'm going to fill mine in a little bit more. And I'm going to try and make sure that I leave my eyebrows in a little bit of a straight shape. I'm not going to change my eyebrow shape dramatically, but I am looking at a photo of her to kind of try and match that shape a little bit. So I'm also extending my eyebrows out towards the outer corner a little bit more. And when I fill them in, I'm going to go over with an eyebrow gel to set my eyebrow hairs in place. The eyeshadow is pretty simple and basic. I'm going to start with a light color. It's a little bit lighter than my natural skin color, which I'm going to apply as a highlighter underneath my eyebrows. So right on top of my brow bone. And then I'm going to take this color, which is just a few shades darker than my natural skin color and a little bit of a grayish brownish tone. And I'm going to apply that all over the moving parts of my eyelids and into my crease. So then I'm going to take a very small precision brush and I'm going to take that lighter color again, which I'm now going to apply in my inner corners as a little bit of a highlight. Next up are some false eyelashes. She is definitely wearing false eyelashes in some scenes at least. So I'm going to apply some as well to kind of emulate that look. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue, let it dry for a few seconds and then apply it onto my own eyelashes. And when that's done, I'm going to take a little bit of mascara and I'm going to apply that on my lower lashes, which I am then going to comb out using a spoolie to make sure I don't have any clumps left. All right, moving on to the lips, I'm going to apply this beautiful cherry red color, which I am going to pretty much just follow my natural lip shape with. And this is a liquid lipstick that will dry down matte. So next up, face makeup, I'm going to take this bronzer right here, which I'm going to use to sculpt out my face shape just a little bit more. The actress who portrays Peggy Carter has a bit of a square face with very beautiful prominent cheekbones. So I'm going to sculpt mine out a little bit more by applying a bit of this bronzer right underneath my own cheekbones. And then I'm going to apply a little bit under my jaw as well to make my face look a little bit less round and a little bit more square. After that, I'm going to take this pink blush, which I'm going to apply on the apples of my cheeks, just a little bit higher. Again, I want to create the illusion of pretty prominent cheekbones, so I'm applying my blush a little bit higher than I normally would. And there is the makeup look completely done. So moving on to the hair, I am going to do a dry set, which means I'm going to do a vintage brush out, which is first set by heat. So I'm going to divide my hair into a side parting and then I'm going to divide the front from the back and clip the back away with a few hair clips for now. So I'm going to start with the larger section first. I'm going to divide a little strip out of this again. And then I'm going to take the front part of this strip and I'm going to take a small curling iron here. I'm going to wrap my hair around the curling iron and when it is heated through, I'm going to slide it off but hold this curl. And I'm going to pinch it with my fingers and then pin it down to my head so that it cools down in this shape. And this is very important because we're going to do a brush out later and we need these curls to be really strong and sturdy. So then I move on to the next little section right behind that. 
of the same width and I'm curling all of my hair in the same direction. So I am right now curling away from my face, which means that when I reach the back of my head and the other side of my head, I'm going to be curling towards my face so that you have the same curl pattern all across the back of your head. But we're not there yet. We're going to start with the front section. So when the first row of curls is done, I'm going to move on to the hair right underneath that. And I'm going to continue like this all the way down and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, making sure to curl towards my face this time. So when both of the fronts of my hair are done, I'm going to move on to the back of my hair where I'm again going to start at the top and go section by section. But again, I'm going to make sure that I curl all of the hair in the same direction. When I'm done, it should look a little something like this and I'm going to give this a few minutes to completely cool down and set really well. If you want, you could just apply a little spritz of hairspray at this point to make it really, really strong. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna skip that step and move straight on to laying down my curls again. So I'm gonna remove my bobby pins and then it should look something like this. I'm going to run my fingers through these curls to separate them a little bit before I take a brush and run my brush through my hair. And at this point, you're just gonna want to keep brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing until your curls will separate first and then clump together again to form these big, beautiful Hollywood waves. Just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of molding these curls. So when the clumps have formed, you can start working on the front and Peggy Carter has this beautiful, almost like finger wave going on around the front of her face. So we definitely wanna pay a little bit of attention to that. So I'm going to start by brushing my hair back first, away from my forehead. And I'm going to hold that down right there and insert one of these long clips. Then I'm going to press down on the clip while I comb my hair forward again. And you can see the curls that I made are really helping with this. The hair pretty much already falls into this shape. I only have to mold it like a little bit. So I'm going to create a second curl and then go back again, insert another clip. And I'm going to do this all the way down my hair. And if you're having trouble separating your curls, you might want to use a comb. It makes it a little bit quicker and easier than using the brush. And then I'm going to take all of the back of my hair, I'm going to grab it as a kind of ponytail and just brush all of this together until I make it to the ends of my hair, which I'm going to twist into a little spiral curl, which is going to make it a little bit easier to tuck underneath and clip to my scalp. Because Peggy Carter, well, her hair length kind of varies throughout the different movies that she's in, but for the most part she's wearing something like a long bob. So I'm going to fake that length by just pinning up the ends of my hair right underneath that kind of flap of hair that sounds so disgusting but <laughs> just right underneath that hair right on next to my scalp then i'm going to take a hairspray this is a glossy one with a pretty strong hold and i'm going to spray this down you do not want this to move at all because you want this to hold on its own after you remove the clips so be sure to really really spray this it doesn't need to be soft it just needs to hold <laughs> So then obviously you're going to remove the clips and then what we need to do is to lift up this hair so I'm going to stick the end of my rat tail comb in and just lift the whole thing up and that's going to create a little bit of volume which she definitely has. Now if you're not happy with the front which I am not because this one curl just will not separate I will take this piece of hair and just pin it back uh, right above my ear. This is a style I've seen her wear in photos, for example, so it's definitely an option. You could pin the other side of your hair back as well. She wears her hair in many different styles. This is kind of like the base hairstyle that you can then play with and pin up the front in various different ways. But yeah, this is the basic hairstyle all done. And there is your Peggy Carter look finished. This is definitely a pretty simple one to do with the curling and the brush out just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of time and patience. But I feel like this is a look that pretty much everyone can recreate at home. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction, guys. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more Beauty Beacons episodes and beauty and lifestyle videos. If you have any requests for beauty beacons or beauty beacons of fiction, historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I will look through pick one out for next time. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!